He was being tried for four counts of not filing his income tax. Okay. And our question was, well, what is to decide? Either he did or he didn't. It never occurred to us that he might actually be innocent while at the same time not filing. In the federal government, it is not a felony not to file taxes. Finally, they said, okay, if we're going to get this guy, we're going to have to put it in the state. They called up the IRS agent, Agent Craner. Craner. Yeah. Father Craner. This is Ken Doherty. He's also an investigator with the Illinois Department of Revenue. This is a request for a copy of the delegation and ability order. Right. And I talked to my boss about that, and he said that my badge is that. Badge is the authority. Hmm. Uh, I thought it had to be in writing. The last question that the defense asked him was, did you write any of this down? And Agent Craner looked right at him and right at us, and he said, I never wrote anything down. And yet when we saw the video, there he was, writing notes, you know. And so I, I'm thinking, okay, at this point, the judge is supposed to say, Agent Craner, it is clear that you have committed perjury. It, it wasn't even noticed. It finally came to the climax. Mr. Harrell looked right at the prosecutor, and he said, I will tell you the same thing I have told over and over again to government officials. You show me the law that requires me to file a tax return, and I'll be glad to do it. And again, I asked, under what is the requirement that you claim I'm required to do these so? And the requirement under the regulations is what section? My question to you is, what particular act are we discussing here that I am liable to do these things that you claim I'm liable to do? Your exact question would be again? Okay, what is the section that what? But I guess I'm still not understanding your question, Mr. Harrell. <laughs> well, you must be familiar with what you, did you, that you have the police powers to enforce. Yes. The prosecutor absolutely ignored him. And he started slandering Mr. Harrell. Just started attacking his character. They're calling us tax cheats. They're calling us fanatics. They're calling us weirdos. I don't care what you call me, but I have one question. Where is the law? Show me the law. They can't let this turn into a rational debate because if they do, they lose it. So they have to insult people and say it's frivolous. We felt like that there was an overall arrogance and that they were railroading Mr. Harrell and wanting us to participate. Judge Coogan, he looked right at us and he said, I will instruct the jury according to the law. We were sent to deliberation. The judge promised us that he would give us the law. And we looked and we looked and it was not there. We wrote a note to the judge asking for a copy of the law. Ten minutes later, we get a note back. You have everything you need, but there was no law. And he had promised us. At, the, at that point, I felt betrayed. I felt like this man promised us the law, and that's what this whole thing is about, the law. We request it, and he still denies us the law. And the reason they didn't do it was why? Because there is no law. Remember, we're talking about the Illinois state law here, okay, which is a law in Illinois. So we got out that law, and we read it several times, and I said, okay, wait, 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 you know, because they kept saying, 